Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial and we are working on these most adorable child's crocheted slippers from Red Heart. So we will be making the face which will be totally separate and the booty itself will be made in two parts, the sole and then the upper part. And then we will, will be able to attach all three parts together to make the most adorable little piece. So I hope you join me for this tutorial and let's get started. Okay guys, we are in the holiday era now and we're going to start our first holiday project. It's from redheart.com. The pattern number is LW5334 and it is the very cute child's Santa slippers. So what we're going to need is three colors of yarn. So I have the pink, the red, and I have the white, which is on my hook. You will need a 4.0 millimeter hook. If you want to go larger with these slippers, they're probably going to be easier to go larger than to go smaller unless you use a smaller yarn. If you want to go larger than the three sizes given, you'll need to go larger with your hook. And you do have the options of doing a five and a half, six and a half, or seven and a half size. I will be doing the five and a half. So if you want to do anything different that is provided, you will have to go with the sizes provided in parentheses. So you will need your three colors of yarn. Choose any you like. You're making a project. You use your creative side to choose your colors. You will need your needle. A stitch marker will come in handy. You will need two colors of thread, which I have the red, and then I have the black. So pull up your pattern. We will pull, put these all aside now and go ahead and get started with working the sole of the booty. So once you get everything that you need, we're going to start working our sole. So choose whichever color you want to start with. And what we will need to do is chain up 15. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And now we're going to work two single crochet into the second from the hook. Okay. Now you want to single crochet in the next eight stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, so now you want to half double crochet into the next stitch. Okay, and then you will do a double crochet into the next three stitches. So one, two, and three. And that will take us to the very last stitch. What you're going to do is work five double crochet into that last one, and that will enable your piece to slowly turn around. And you need to allow that to happen. So that will put us on the other side of our foundation chains. So one, two, three, four, and five. So now we're on the opposite side here and we're going to be working on those unworked loops from our foundation chain. And you're just going to pretty much work the opposite, uh, the same as what we did going across, but you're going to work at it in the opposite manner. So now working in the next unworked loop, you want to work three double crochet in a row. So one, two, and three. Work a half double crochet in the next stitch. And then you want to work eight single crochet in a row. So one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, and eight. And in that last stitch, you want to put two single crochet. So one, and now two. Now you should have a total of 33 stitches, and now you want to join right into the top of that first stitch across. Okay? So that is going to be your first completed row of your sole. Alright? So now for row two, we're going to chain up one, and you are going to single crochet into the first stitch, not where your chain one is, but the next stitch. Now put your stitch marker into that stitch because they are very difficult to find, even for me sometimes, so it's just better to be safe. Alright, in the next stitch you want to put two single crochet, and then single crochet in the next 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Now two single crochet into the next stitch. Three into the next. and two into the next. Okay, and now 13 single crochet in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then you want to do two single crochet into the next stitch, okay, and then single crochet into that last stitch. Take your marker out at this point because you should be to that last stitch. And then you're just going to slip stitch right into that stitch. And that should give you a total of 39 stitches at this point. Okay, so that is row two. Now row three is going to be pretty much the same. We're just going to increase again. So chain up one and single crochet into the next stitch. And then put your marker back in. Two single crochet into the next stitch, and then single crochet in the next 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Two in the next, three in the next, and two in the next. Okay, so that's the toe, and now we're going to work 16 in a row again. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
15 and 16. Okay, so you want to do two in the next. Single crochet into that last stitch. Take your marker out and then you're going to slip stitch into that first stitch. Okay, now you should have a total of 45 stitches for round three. Now round four is our last increase round for our sole. Let's chain up one and you're going to put in two stitches this time into the next stitch. So let's put our first stitch and then go ahead and stick that marker back into that stitch and put the second stitch right in there with it. Okay, and now you're going to single crochet in the next 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Okay, so you want to do two singles in the next stitch. Single crochet in the next. two in the next, three singles in the next, one, two, three, two single crochet in the next, and single crochet in the next, and what they're doing here is just forming the toe real good. Okay, uh, two single crochet into the next. And now single crochet into the next 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. Okay, so now what you want to simply do is two single crochet into that very last stitch. So one and two. Take your marker out and then you're just going to simply join and then you're completed. You have completed that sole. Now you want to fasten off and if you have a good look at that you see how beautiful that that toe was formed. Okay. So that now is the sole of the foot, okay? So now we will start working the upper part and we will form everything that goes with this beautiful little slipper. Okay, so now to start the upper part of the booty slipper, we need to take our same color and chain up 29. They are going to be worked separate, so you need to put the sole to the side for now, and then we will join the two pieces together. So once you have your 29 chained, you want to slip the two pieces together. All right, make sure and not to twist. And the key part to making this uh, upper part is you want to turn your piece at the end of each row. So make sure that that gets done. That is very important. So now for row one, you want to chain one and you're going to work a single crochet in the first 13. So going into the same stitch, work one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Now you want to work three double crochet into the next chain. So one, two, and three. And then in the next chain you want to work two double crochet. So one, and two. Okay, so then you want to single crochet in the last 13 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Okay, so now you want to join into that first stitch with a slip stitch. Okay, so now you just want to simply turn your piece, I'm going to turn it this way, and now you want to start row two. So let's chain up one. And you want to do two single crochet right into that same first stitch. Okay. And then you're going to work a single crochet in each stitch around, working two in the last stitch as well. So there's two already. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, and the last one gets two. So there's thirty-two and there's thirty-three. Okay, so now you just simply want to join up into that first stitch. Now you will turn your piece again. Now row three, you'll chain up one and single crochet 16. Go right into the first stitch. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and now sixteen. Okay, so now what you want to do is two double crochet in your next stitch. One, Two, three doubles in the next one, two, and three, and two doubles in the next one and two. And this is actually, I believe, going to be the front part of the booty. So, this is uh, why this is growing like it is. Okay, so now you're going to single crochet in the uh, next 16. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Okay, so now what you want to do is join into that first stitch and now you should have a total of 39. So um, the next round you're just going to simply chain one and single crochet around making sure that you turn after that round as well and then we will pick up and go to round five. Alright so round five I've already turned we're going to chain up one and then you're going to single crochet in the first 17. Okay so one whoops sorry let's try that one again one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Okay. Now what you want to do is two stitches or uh, two double crochet in each of the next two stitches. Okay. So two in this stitch. And then two double crochet in the next. Three double crochet in the next. There's two. And then there's three. And then you want to do two double crochet in each of the next two. So two in this one. two in the next. And then you're just going to single crochet in the next 17. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, so now you'll just do your slip stitch. And now that is going to be the completion of our increased rows. So now what uh, you need to do for round six is you're going to turn and you're going to repeat row two. So if you go back to row two you'll chain up one and then what you want to do is single crochet into your first stitch. Actually you'll do two single crochet here into this first stitch. Then you will single crochet around and then you will put two single crochet into the very last stitch. So just work around. Make yourself a single crochet row. So again that was two single crochet in the very first stitch. And then you're just going to single crochet in each stitch around. And yeah I'm kind of going through this row fairly quickly. It's just single crochet so if you have to go a little slower, that's fine. And the 
these are going to be the cutest little booty slippers. Okay, let's do the other part here. And they're turning out nicely so far. And these will make more sense once we've got this uh, upper part completed. I've made several shoes or booties that are made in two parts like this before. And it did throw me for a loop when I first, I made the first um, one that I did make. But it's kind of a genius idea to make them in two parts. It's really neat. Okay. Your last stitch, you will put two in that last stitch. Okay. Then join with a slip stitch. Okay. Now you will then have a total of 47 stitches at the end of this uh, this row here. So now what you want to do at this point is you will we will start row 47 once we come back, count your stitches, make sure you have 47 stitches around. Okay, round seven, once you have turned, we are going to chain up one again. Now you're going to simply work 21 single crochet in a row here, starting off. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and twenty-one. Now you want to work two double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So there's going to be two in this stitch. Two in the next stitch. Three double crochet in each, uh, or three double crochet in just the next stitch. So one, two, three, two double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So two in this stitch and two in this next stitch. Okay, now you're going to work 21 singles. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 20, 21. Join to that first stitch. Okay, and by this round you will want to have 53 stitches. Let's turn once more. Now for our final uh, row, you're going to chain one and you're just going to simply single crochet around. Alright, so maintain your 53 stitches here and work a single crochet all the way around. Once you are finished here, do not fasten off. Go ahead and go all the way around here and then grab up the sole and we will start working to join the two together to make the slipper complete. And I'll meet you back up. Alright, so once you're completed around with that last row, you want to take the sole of the booty and you see where this toe is a little bit arched you want to take the sole and you want to match that up 
okay so you see it's really only going to match up one way so make sure you match that up correctly with your hook and your loop still up you want to make sure and put that in there correctly and match it and what you're just going to do is you're going to be working through both go ahead and chain up a one here and you want to work through both sides so you want to work through your your sole and the upper part okay so right here into your joining stitch of your your uh, sole just go ahead and single crochet that into the joining stitch of your uh, upper part as well now just go ahead and single crochet around make sure that you're lining those stitches up correctly and then just single crochet all the way through both loops on both sides and if you line those beginning stitches up they should line up perfectly and you shouldn't have to do a whole lot of eyeball work here So just make sure you have four loops on your hook when you're working through one side to the other. So going all the way through and make sure to get them kind of snug because you don't want any looseness there because it's going to be what holds your shoe together. make sure that everything's looking nice and even and if you find that you're a little bit um, off with your stitches just pull them out to wherever you think it's off and try it again because sometimes when you're attaching them like this you may get a stitch or two off because of the beginning join but it's not a big deal I have done that before so not good thing about it you can always go back and realign it before you finish it off so just keep going around the toe gets a little bit funny because the stitches are really close just make sure you do not skip any you may have to open it up just to see okay and just keep going all the way around making sure that everything matches up correctly and I'll meet you at the end okay so once you've completed that row you're just going to simply join to the beginning and snip that off and just weave your ends so this is absolutely adorable so far so now we're just going to tuck that away and if I didn't mention it to start with I just made my uh, slipper all one color uh, they did use red on the bottom but I did use all one solid color and, but I did mention to you use whatever color coordination you wish to do but I did use um, white all the way around all right, so now you're going to pick up your, or I'm going to use red because we're going to start the Santa hat. Okay, so now whichever color you choose, use your Santa hat, use for your hat. That's the color you choose now, and we are going to start off with a chain 15. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15 okay so now what we're mainly going to be doing is work in some single crochet decreases so what you want to do first is we're going to single crochet into the second from the hook and we're going to work that across okay so work a single crochet all the way across that will give us a total of 14 stitches for our first row 
so go ahead and work that across and my red yarn will appear a little bit thicker it's still a four weight but I did pick a four weight that is a little um, poofier in my my slang terms <laughs> Um, just because it's part of the hat. Um, I'm not sure if many of you realize, especially those of you new to crochet, sometimes the red colors, the black colors, the dark purple colors, especially in red heart, are a bit thicker. So I chose the thicker red for this part of the hat. Okay, so now for the next row, you want to turn, actually, for rows 2, 3, 4, and 5, they're going to be worked the same. Um, so we'll start with row two. We're going to chain one. We're going to single crochet right into the same stitch. Then you're going to work a uh, single crochet two together over the next two stitches. So let's go into the first stitch and pull up and the next stitch and pull up. Yarn over, pull through all three. And then you're going to single crochet across until you get to the last three stitches on the row. And then we will treat those like we did the first three stitches of our row. So we want the front, we want both ends to equal out to be the same shape as we're working up. Okay, so now we've got, let's see, we've got to do one more here. So now that means we need to do a single crochet two together here in these next two stitches. And then single crochet in this last stitch. Okay, so that's row two. So let's turn and do row three the same way. Chain one, single crochet into the first stitch. Next two stitches will be your single crochet decrease. Okay, now single crochet across to your last three stitches. Once you're there, you'll work your single crochet decrease and then single crochet into that very last stitch. All right, turn. We would do row four. So you want to single crochet into the first one, uh, single crochet decrease in the next two and then single crochet across to your last three stitches. Okay, now single crochet decrease and then single crochet into the last stitch. Alright, so now let's turn and do row five, same way. Chain up one and single crochet in the first stitch and then work a single crochet decrease. Single crochet, single crochet. Then that should bring you already to your last three. Single crochet two together. And then single crochet into that last stitch. So by your last row here, your fifth row, you should have six single crochet on that row. Now for our row six, we're going to keep working decreases. You're going to turn and chain up one and you're going to single crochet into the first stitch. And now you're going to work a single crochet decrease two times in a row here. So here's our first one and here's our second one. Now single crochet into that last stitch and that will give you four stitches across your top row. Okay, so turn and row seven we want to chain up one and you're just going to simply work a single crochet decrease across so you're only going to do that twice. Go into your current stitch for your first one and make your single crochet decrease and then go into the last two stitches for your last single crochet decrease. Now it's going to leave you two stitches, so turn for row eight, chain up one and just work one single crochet decrease to bring you down to that final stitch. It makes it look just like a little Christmas tree. 
Now what you want to do is you want to finish off here and you're just going to pull that through and you'll want to weave those ends in. Okay, so now what you want to do, um, if you don't want to do your Santa face in white and you want to do it in a more cream color or if you used more of a cream color for the shoe and you want to do the Santa face in white you can do that as well um, you know so that's totally up to you so now next we will work on the Santa face okay so now what we are going to do is I've got just a little different shade here um, of a cream color so I'm going to use that for my face so what you want to do now is you want to chain 13 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and 13 now you're just going to single crochet in the second from the hook and then you're just going to single crochet in each stitch across just like we did for the hat okay so that will give us a total of 12 single crochet once we are across and now for rows two, three, and four, we're going to turn. You want to chain up one here, and you're going to single crochet into that first stitch, and it's going to be just like we did for the hat. So you want to single crochet two together over the next two stitches, and single crochet to the last three. So go all the way over. you get to the last three stitches Let's see one two all right so then once you get there you want to single crochet two together in the next and then single crochet in that last stitch all right so that was row two so let's do row three the same way chain one single in the first stitch single crochet two together in the next two and single crochet to the last three stitches okay now you're going to work that single crochet two together and single crochet in the last turn one more time here for this uh, row four so chain up one, single crochet into the first, single crochet two together, and now single crochet into the next two, single crochet two together, and single crochet into that last stitch. Okay, so so far that's what we have through row four. Now what you want to do is we want to change to our white color because this is going to be Santa's beard. So we want to pull that last stitch back out so we can actually put our color in, our color change in. So just pull that through and I always tie mine here so they don't come out. Okay take off that other strand there and we'll get all these ends tied in <clears throat> okay so now we're going to begin the beard part and you can work over this one if you want so let's go ahead and turn our piece and chain up one here with our new color so now you're just going to simply single crochet across make sure you go into that first stitch so you get one two three, four, five, and then you got six. Okay. 
So that was row five, so let's turn now for row six. All right, so now you're gonna chain up one again. And now what you wanna do is single crochet two together over the first two stitches. So in the first and second stitch, you got that single crochet two together. Single crochet in the next two stitches Alright, and then you want to single crochet two together in the last two stitches. Alright, and now what you want to do is uh, fasten off, leave a little bit so you can sew it across. Okay. And now you want to basically you'll center the face basically how you're going to do the assembly of it is this is going to be the beard and this will come down like this and once we get the hat done it'll go up like that so, but I will show you that as we go along okay so now what you want to do is you want to grab your hat back and grab your white we're gonna make the band so now what we're going to do I'll set that aside just for the time being we want to chain up a 15. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Now you want to, it's just one row, you're going to single crochet in the second from the hook and in each across. Okay. And that's very simple just for the little band. So just make sure you have all your pieces laid out um, so they don't get lost and so you know which is which because we'll have to piece all of these together. and just leave a tail at the end of them though so that you have enough to do so okay so now we're finished with that part so we will snip that off pull my tail through here so that's the band for my hat so it will fit nicely at the bottom so I'll put those together and put that aside so now what you'll do is you'll work your nose so again I have a little bit of pink here that we're gonna work just like in the picture So what you want to do, and this is really, really small, so you want to take your pink and you'll chain up two, and you'll work six single crochet into this, the first, it says the second, but depending on how you look at it, um, so single crochet six times, so there's one. two, three, four, five, and six. And that's all there is to the nose. Just pull it. You want to just slip stitch to that first single crochet here. Okay, fasten it off. And what I'm just going to do is I'm going to tie this, these two pieces together. That way it'll make it a little smaller because it's hard to close these little pieces up. Okay, so that's the nose. Okay. So now I will be back with you and we will start assembling. Okay, so what I've done is I went ahead and assembled the face to the hat. It's just a little tricky, so it does take a little extra time to do. Um, 
but what you want to do is make sure that if you use a different colored yarn for the face versus the beard make sure your beard is on the bottom um, but you want to it's not going to exactly even out on the edges so you just want to make sure that your face and beard is centered in the center of your hat okay just like I did and don't worry that your ed that your uh, seam is not perfect which all I did was whip stitch it across because what's going to happen once you place this it's just going to cover that so just whip stitch that in each stitch across and then uh, just get that situated on there and then what you're just going to do is you're just going to take the band and you can use either side of the band I was actually um, pondering you know if you use the back side of the uh, which is actually the wrong side here of your band it actually is lumped up enough to where it makes it uh, have the effect of like um, cotton balls so I think I'm actually going to put it on the wrong side there don't put it down so far you cover up his face because you still have to put the eyes and the nose and the mouth so you just want to go a tad bit above your stitches here and this will go from end to end uh, so basically all you want to do here is go in each stitch okay so just seam this all the way across going in the back and coming out the front okay and then you just want to center your nose you're going to center your nose as well put that there and then you're just going to put your two eyes and then with your thread and then your mouth in a V shape you can do that and then just simply make your pom-pom ball and for the top of the hat and once you get that done and I get that done I'll be back and show you how to attach it okay so the last piece to this Santa face is we're going to do the pom-pom so whatever color you choose that's fine so let's do a chain four and then you're just simply going to work 11 double crochet into the beginning stitch so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven join into the top of that chain three you're just going to fasten off leave yourself a tail pull that through and then what you want to do you can go ahead and fasten off that tail you just want to gather them all up either way you want to just like this okay and then you'll take your hook and thread your yarn through provided I could get mine th through here as much as my yarn is frayed here so you're just going to thread it through and basically it says to gather all the stitches together and pull tightly to the shape of a pom-pom and just sew it on the on the top of the hat but what will help make this easier is if you go in and out of the actual stitches here I've done this one before so just go in and out of the actual tops of the stitches just like that and it will hold it in place for you and then uh, just place it just like this on the top of the hat and sew it into place and that way you only have a couple stitches versus trying to go through a dozen of them okay. 
and that puts your little pom-pom up there just like that and you can just fasten this off okay so so far this is what my little Senna's face looks like now what you're going to do is we are just going to place him right on the top of the toe and it's going to take the whole frame of the front of the foot his beard is going to come down and touch uh, the toe and then the tip of the hat is actually going to hang over the top a little bit so what you're going to do is take your hook and your white and you will join at the top of the hat okay so you will join at the top of the hat with a slip stitch and chain one so whichever stitch you can get it in up here at the top So you join with a slip stitch. It may be difficult to get that started. Because there's a lot of stitches going on there. Okay, and then do a chain one. And you can straighten the Santa up as you go. And then do three single crochet into the top of the hat. So one, two, and three. Okay? And now you're going to just single crochet around the entire part of the hat and the head. And then you're just going to uh, slip stitch to the first stitch. Okay? So make sure you go into the next single crochet on the hat just like this and like I said it's going to be a little difficult to get this thing started so just make sure you have patience so there we go now we got it started and you're just going to work a single crochet and then you're just going to start working a single crochet right along all in the hat and then you're going through to the actual shoe grab up a stitch okay and you just straighten up the Santa as you go and you don't have to be picky about what stitch you grab on the hat like mine's just a little crooked so we're gonna have to straighten him up and you're gonna have to work with it a little bit just to get it just to get it on there right because this is gonna be a little a little tedious here to do so just make sure that you if you have to get yourself a stitch marker and try to hold the head in place if you want to do that down at the bottom of the beard and that may actually help okay and straighten it out a little bit as you go there we go I got him on there going good and then once you get going all the way around you'll see it, it'll start shaping up nice so mine's actually on there good now because whenever I get right to this point he'll be pretty straight okay so just single crochet all the way around his head and join up here at the top and you will have your your actual slipper complete for your child's Santa slipper okay so just take your time and get him on there correct and that will be a beautiful gift for somebody for Christmas okay so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'm going to finish sewing on the head to mine and until next time happy hooking